Kyrie family, with all the noise going on about Kendrick Lamar being chose to be the Super Bowl halftime show performer over Lit Away, we got somebody who said they know why the Super Bowl chose Kendrick Lamar over Lil Wayne. Let's, let, let's get straight to it then. Next Super Bowl, but so hold on, hold on. Before we start the video, actually, let me say shout out to my nigga Zevi. It's X E V I. Go check out his channel. People aren't very happy about it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, because of the whole Drake situation. But not quite. It's because of this guy, Lil Wayne. Oh, See, Jesus. Lil Wayne had a problem. The next Super Bowl is going to be in Lil Wayne's hometown of New Orleans. He's been very vocal about how he wants to perform there. Now, some of you may not know this, but Lil Wayne was the biggest rapper in the world for many years. So it was fact. surely a possibility. So the people in New Orleans said, yeah, the Super Bowl said, yeah. Just kidding. We chose Kendrick. Wayne fans said, huh? Super Bowl said, huh? I don't know. Ask Jay-Z. Ah, yeah. Yes, that Jay-Z, the okay, only Jay-Z. Okay, okay, before he gets to Jay, let's, let's just quick harp on that. I do say I, I completely understand both sides, and I'm going to explain my perspective, but what is more important to y'all? And this is there's not a right or wrong answer because it's two genuinely different perspectives. What is more important to y'all? The legacy and legendariness of Little Wayne's run, right? Opposed to the progression of the culture. Because, or not necessarily the culture, but what is act like right now, you know what I mean? Opposed to what is more important. Because you start realizing, while I didn't really like it, but in booking, sometimes Undertaker does have to lose at WrestleMania. So, sometimes Andre the Giant does have to get slammed by Hulk Hogan because this could be a moment to cement Kendrick Lamar as what he is. But then I totally understand, man, do you know what Wayne is? Do you know what Wayne gave to the game? And now we got Jigga. We got Jigga in the middle of it. And I think, for me personally, intentions is going to come down to be a big thing. If I know Jay-Z literally just blocking him because the little diss to Beyonce cost me a spade, that ain't, that ain't really it, bro. That ain't really it, bro. But if it's genuinely just because you felt like Kendrick is the hottest in the world right now and that he's the hottest rapper in the world right now and you wanted to showcase rap, and I'm mad at you and I feel like the Jay-Z hate ain't gonna be warranted. So it's where intentions lie with that. Let's go. It's gonna be a, it's gonna, I'm gonna break this down, man. Easy. Come on. Because he is the one who chooses directly who is performing in the Super Bowl. And this happened because after the Colin Kaepernick thing, the NFL asked Rihanna to perform. She said, in her words, I couldn't care to perform. The NFL chooses Maroon 5, it was a disaster. Jay-Z yeah. steps in and the halftime show is good again. So yep. Jay-Z's response to Lil Wayne not performing was, Nothing, because he don't respond. That's why it was so legendary for Rihanna to come and do the whole shit while she was pregnant. And it shows, showcases the power of Jay-Z. And Jay-Z definitely probably leveraged his relationship with all of hip-hop to get that position in the Super Bowl. But I also do think the NFL really needed him because the NFL's Super Bowl halftime show, like, nigga, y'all wasn't gone. There was nothing that was, and y'all were still in your racist white guy era of trying to uh, not acknowledge hip-hop and hip-hop supremacy because of it's a black culture, let's be real. And y'all was doing shit like getting Maroon 5, nigga. Getting Maroon, Maroon 5 while Lil Wayne was taking over the world. I think sometimes what happens is a person gets cheated when it was their time to get it. And then now it fucks shit up. Like, a person wins, doesn't win MVP, everybody gets mad. And now they give him MVP the next year, even though he's not the MVP. I think that's some shit, because Wayne should have already had a Super Bowl performance. That's how I feel. Wayne should have already had one by now, and that's on the Super Bowl for dropping the ball. But I totally understand why this right now is Kendrick's moment, and Jigga like, bro, y'all fucking hired me to represent hip-hop, right? What was the song of this summer? Not Like Us. What was the biggest rap beef of all, beef of all time? This one. Who's the biggest rapper in the world? Kendrick. Well, nigga, who, who, I get way, but who else I'm gonna get? That's how I'm, that's how I'm looking at it. So people came up with their own conclusions. Nicki Minaj's was Jay-Z has a problem with Birdman, Drake, and Nicki Minaj. Now I need you to listen because here's where it starts to connect. First of all, notice she did not say hatred for Lil Wayne. That's important because 
Because she's a narcissist, nigga. Come on, <laughs> Nikki. Come on. Maybe one. If let's be fair about this, we don't even know if Wayne and Drake are on the same are cool anymore on the same page. But let's just say they are. Nigga, Wayne's not in business with Birdman anymore, so that has nothing to do with anything, and I don't think Nicki Minaj should be a factor in this. I just think sometimes people, like, niggas get intoxicated by the smell of their own fart. Let's call it Spade a Spade. Let's call it Spade a Spade. Birdman, Drake, and Nicki Minaj all have their separate problems with Jay-Z. Second of all, they were all part of the same label at one point and were like a family, but the family broke down a little bit, and Jay-Z is a big part of that story. This guy named Birdman signs Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne yeah. signs Drake and Nicki Minaj. Come to yeah. find out, Birdman doesn't pay anybody. That's why Drake and Pusha T <laughs> got into it. Birdman didn't pay for for a beat. That's Pusha fact. T is his friend, says, screw you, Birdman. Lil Wayne says, don't talk about Birdman like that. Pusha T says, screw yeah. you, Wayne. Drake says, screw who? Like, oh, this nigga's fire. This nigga's channel is fire. I like somebody who, who I can tell he's an actual hip hop fan, because. A lot of these guys, it's like, I can tell you started listening to rap in like 2017. Or something, a lot of these YouTubers. I really appreciate a nigga like this. Who I, obviously, just off the back of his hands, it's the whole clip shit. And then a lot at that time, people were saying Wayne was stealing Pharrell's old style, which you can definitely make. God, you can make a case for that. And I love Wayne. You know, I have my reaction to every Carter on my Patreon. I did a live stream all on the Patreon. Go check them out. And you'll be shocked which card is my favorite. I really think it you will be. Like a family. Gotta watch it Remember to find out, Lil Wayne was one of the biggest rappers in the world. Jay-Z wanted to sign him. But Jay-Z knew how close Lil Wayne and Birdman was. So he says, hey, Birdman, I'm gonna ask Lil Wayne. Birdman gets pissed saying, why would you even try that? Jay-Z says, hey, Lil Wayne, you wanna sign to my label? Lil right. Lil I'm gonna stay loyal and sign to Birdman. But uh, remember how I told you Birdman don't pay nobody? Birdman basically gives Lil Wayne nothing. And Birdman's excuse was, I took Lil Wayne and his mom out the trap. So Birdman steals $100 million from Lil Wayne. The money Lil Wayne was supposed to use to start his own label. So with no money, Lil Wayne gave you Nicki Minaj, Drake, and Tyga. Some of the biggest- God, that nigga Dr uh, Wayne is amazing. That nigga is a- Superhero rappers to date, and the sad part is you can argue they got so big because of what happens next. Lil Wayne finds out all that money is being stolen from him. He says, Screw you, Birdman. Birdman says, Screw you, you can't release music. So, the number one rapper in the world, that's when the, we got uh, No Carter Five. Oh, Lil Wayne was not able to release music. Drake becomes the number one rapper, but it's way more complicated than that. Regardless, Jay Z pops in and says, you need some help, Lil Wayne? So Lil Wayne teams up with Jay-Z. They sue Birdman. Lil Wayne gets like $50 million. Some people believe that Jay-Z helps artists out with their label problems Back. so he can... He 100% does. No, so he can sign up to his manager deal? I don't know. I, I mean, maybe, but I just also think that it's like if you go to a phone company and a phone company is like, we'll buy you out of one of the old contracts. I just think maybe that's something Rock Nation might provide. It's like, oh, we'll get you. If you want to join Rock Nation, you can join. I don't give a fuck who you signed to. And that's a lot of times, like, that's why you get success, successful. You know, sometimes we look at nepotism is a good example of what I'm talking about as a bad thing, right? But in actuality, if you worked to get $100 million, and let's say it's a $100 million company, you wouldn't put your son to run it so that he could give it to your grandson so that he, you wouldn't do that? Why wouldn't you? It, because, are you going to leave your money and your will to your some strangers or to your loved ones, right? So it's just, that's sort of what you hustle for. And, we, and I think sometimes we forget that when it's not us. You know what I mean? That's the whole point. Put your niggas on shit like that. Sign them to management deals. Jay-Z's done this for Lil Uzi Vert. He's done this for Megan Thee Stallion. And boom, here's where it all connects. Remember, Jay-Z has helped out Lil Wayne. Birdman gets pissed. He's helped out Megan the Stallion. Nicki Minaj gets pissed because she believes that Megan the Stallion was trying to take her. Well, the next song, I delve into people's desire, let you fire for unknown reasons, other things as well. So many people were blindsided and hurt by her. Allegedly, she's willing to go broke to try to replace me. Fix it, Jesus. Good foot. I think Nikki was on the powder, y'all, when she dropped that one. I, thought, I remember that. Spot I think she was on the powder. And Jay-Z's team was trying to help her do that. But the truth is, all of this is much bigger than that. It's about business. And that's why Drake got pissed. Because after Jay-Z helps out these artists, he doesn't ask them to sign to his label. He just asked for a favor. And his request to Lil Wayne was to release his next album on something called Tidal, which was a mm. streaming platform that Jay-Z owned. Lil Wayne says, of course, I got you. Jay-Z then asked Drake, 
Drake says no and signs with Apple Music for $40 million, which apparently pissed Jay-Z off. So Nicki Minaj and Birdman, by the I don't think that pissed Jay-Z off. And if you look at it, it's like Jay-Z still gives. I think Jay-Z doesn't like J. Cole. It's obvious. They never work together. Jay-Z doesn't really like Kanye. You notice he hasn't been on Kanye's song in a while. Except for, for all the dogs. Jay-Z's on like every Drake project. Jake's he's on the uh the one with no friends in the industry. What's the one? And niggas try to kill me and you still with him. You try to build with him. How can we be friends? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to I can't remember the name. By the way, I'm saying this is Jay Z's way of taking revenge. But regardless, people sign up to title because of Jay Z's connection with rappers. He career. sells title and Jay Z gets millions. Now, when I say he asked for a favor, that don't mean he just asked for a favor. It's more like he discovered Rihanna. They're tight. He says, "Hey, can you perform at the Super Bowl?" Rihanna's never gonna say no. I also want you to understand that he could truly be helping out artists from the kindness of his heart and just ask for favors when he really needs a favor. If I discovered an artist, you can't. I can't ask for a favor. I can't ask for you to do a song for me. I can't ask you for you to perform me. That was why I, I, I saw the talent. Not that you're just entitled to do it. Not that I shouldn't pay you. But that's sort of the point. I damn near think it would have been weird if Bur Birdman didn't have Lil Wayne features on his projects and shit like that. Back before we knew all this, Birdman ain't paying Wayne. Because we always knew Stunner didn't really pay niggas. But we thought he was only paying Wayne, only to find out he just doesn't pay anybody. <laughs> I, he says, hey, can you perform no. at the Super Bowl? Rihanna's That's never all. gonna say no. I also want you to understand that he could truly be helping out artists from the kindness of his heart and just ask for favors when he really needs a favor. So as you can tell, he has a business mind, which finally brings us to Kendrick Lamar. As you can imagine, all that stuff I just mentioned puts Lil Wayne in Pictures a weird spot, right? Picture, he was a legend that suddenly had to stop releasing music, so he's still relevant in many spaces, but maybe not all the spaces. You want to know who's relevant in all the spaces, though? Kendrick Lamar. Coming off one of the biggest years. That is true. That is true. Wayne got robbed for some of his prime. But... There's a few projects we heard that came out that were rumored to be the Carter Four. I mean, five, and they weren't that great. What I will say, at, at, especially they're not as great as the Carter Five that we got. Five Carter Five we got was amazing, but some of those mixtapes at that time sounded confused in a little direction, like in a different pocket of way. I do think organically, just over time, Drake. Kendrick, Cole, were going to pass him. Just the way they slow. It wasn't going to be right away. Wayne was still going to have a minute. But it's just like things like Kanye. Like Kanye, he nobody stopped him from putting out music. But it's been a while since he's been the most popular rapper in the world. Just because that's just what happens in hip-hop. Just like DMX wasn't the most popular rapper forever. Nelly got to run. Nigga, Vicky ain't the big... Shit just happens. The ball gets keeps moving. So I do think... By now, because, God, if Wayne never stopped, he would have been number one for, like, like, 20 years at this point. In rap history with a few singles means everyone will watch the show. But that's not even the reason. He was always going to be able to do this. Because the man is a performer whose last tour broke the record for most ticket sales in rap history. Since he's already shown he can do the Super Bowl, since he's playing on all the radio, since it's on Black History Month, the decision was probably easy for Jay-Z to make. Right. But that does not mean Lil Wayne can't perform at another Super Bowl. It just has to make sense. Lil Wayne's words were, I hope I do enough this year to perform. Because he understands what it takes for a rapper to perform. Dr. Dre, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, Snoop Dogg, Mary J, 50 Cent all need to be together so people would watch because y'all not buying Lil Wayne tickets. Y'all not streaming his songs. So maybe don't next time. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because Lil Wayne is definitely a legend. And, he I just, and I don't like when niggas start with the internet narrative. Like, I just went to a Lil Wayne show. If y'all on the Patreon, you know that. Or if you've been around for a while, you probably know that too. Nigga, that, that bitch, that bitch was packed. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Let's not do that in Austin, Texas, which isn't a main market. D nigga, don't do that. That is, don't do that. Niggas, like, they're not streaming Little Wayne's music. Can I just check before we end this video? Hit that thumbs up button. You get a little bonus content right here. Cause niggas gonna come with such um, just hot take. You that niggas ain't streaming Wayne's music. Is that what we doing now? Is that what we doing now?
Niggas ain't streaming Tucci's music? Why that shit ain't up? Niggas say, because God, it's like, man, how soon they forget. Can I get a how soon they forget in the, in the, in the chat? And we bet. Lil Wayne has 36, almost 37 million monthly listeners. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. This nigga is, let's not do that. It's still Tucci, but I really, really enjoyed bro's video. This was a certified vibe check. Cause another reaction right here, big music video. Vibe right there. Pow, click on the show me some love. And you watch the videos while you didn't hit that thumbs up button. You're a host. Stop being a hoe. Capity family loves y'all. I'm out of here.